Hey, this is Mike McAdam for Gen X Guitar. Today, I'm going to take the Sans Amp Fly Rig and show you how to take it from good to great. So recently, I just did some shows in England with Rocking Horse Music Club. And since we weren't touring with U2, uh, space considerations, not only on stage, but as far as bringing cargo, were a consideration. So for the last few years, I've been using the Sans Amp Fly Rig. I'm a big fan of this pedal. I know there are other pedals that can do a lot more that aren't that much more money. One of the things I really like about it is sometimes when I'm playing, I don't want to deal with presets. I don't want to deal with programming. I just want something that's very simple that's laid out in front of me. And if you look at how simple this pedal is, literally you plug it in and go. You can run an XLR out to the front of house, which I did. And it's just incredibly simple and effective. Looking back at videos that I've taken with this on stage, I gotta be honest, it's about 90% as good as if I use my normal stuff. So when I'm using this pedal on stage, I'm not even using an amp. I'm just plugging it straight into the PA, which I did do on these shows in England. For today's examples, we are going to be putting it through an amplifier. I do find with the fly rig, it is pretty sensitive as far as what speaker you hook it up to. So some PA speakers will sound better than others, but I do find it to be very consistent. So I'm gonna take you through some of this pedal. It's not necessarily a review, but I am going to show you a couple of things that I've done that I think have enhanced the sound of this pedal. So here we go. So if you look at the fly rig, you basically have two levels of gain. And what I will do often is stack them on top of each other. If you look at the gain that they call blonde, to me, it's basically just the front end of an amp. You can kind of shape your EQ. You can add a little bit of gain. What I'll do is I will use it like this, where it's kind of on the verge of breakup. And that sounds like this. So this is without the, uh, the blonde part of the pedal engaged. So here it's gonna jump up a bit in volume. Now for certain chunky rhythm stuff. That's going to work really well. So what I could do from there is start engaging some of the effects. So here I can turn on the reverb. Okay, so one of the things I will do with the delay function on this pedal, um, I'm not a huge fan of the built-in delay. I understand why people would want to use it because it's very digital delay sounding, very precise, you can time things. And I do use it for that, but one of the things I primarily use it for is I will take the rate and time and put them at zero and it gets a chorusing effect and that sounds like this. Now, if I do want to delay, and this leads to the first thing I do to really enhance this pedal, is I use this Catlin Bread Belly Pock that I will put in the effects loop of the pedal. And that not only gives me a delay, but the preamp inside the Belly Pock really enhances the sound of this pedal. So I'm going to play basically the same thing, and I will engage that delay. It's going to sound like this. So the other thing I do with this pedal, if I want a distorted rhythm sound, I will engage the plexi side of it and stack those two drives on top of each other. I don't use uh, the button, it's called the Cali function, which I guess makes it sound more like a boogie. It cuts the mids a little bit. Uh, that sounds like this. <laughs> I also find the boost function in this pedal to be really usable. This is basically going to be the same sound with the boost engaged. Sounds like this. And 
primarily, when I use this pedal, I'm usually playing a Les Paul or a Gibson style guitar. Today I'm playing a Strat. But using a volume pedal with this, I find really helps. It helps with the dynamics. And I'm going to turn this guitar all the way up. And then I'm going to lean back on the volume pedal so you can hear what it does to the gain. <laughs> There's a lot of variation you can get in between, but you really can control the dynamics. And this pedal does a good job of cleaning up its gain uh, with that volume control in there. So again, this isn't really a review of this pedal. This is more just kind of how I use it and a couple of ways by adding the volume pedal and adding the Echoplex in the effects loop that I think you can really enhance it. Also, by using that little hack with the delay, you can get a chorus out of it. So that's all I have for today. If you use this fly rig pedal, tell me what you think about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.